Let's answer the question, why do I need a profile? You probably know the basics of the story. Uh, images come from somewhere. They come from scanners, uh, uh, you know, cameras, the internet. That's called an input or a source location, input devices. We then review those images on our monitors, so that also is, has a profile, and then we output it to our printer. So in order to get the color right from beginning to end, we need to have a profile. In this illustration, you see on the left-hand side what can happen to your print with a bad profile. And then on the right-hand side, you can see how much better it is when you have a good profile. This is the basic reason why we need these things. We have to have profiles to get the best prints we can. So to really understand the full extent of profiles, we have to start at the beginning. Where did the image come from? A camera, a scanner, the internet. These are called input profiles, and it's very important to use the correct input profile to get the best color translation to your monitor and printer. Now, once that image has been captured, we have to preview it on our computer, and we do that using our monitor. So again, we really need to have a good custom monitor profile. Now, if you don't have a custom profile in Flexi, we actually have one called the generic LCD profile. You can use that instead. Or if you wish, you can actually use the sRGB uh, monitor profile. That's not quite as good, but it will, it will probably be adequate in order to get the right kind of preview or truth being told on your monitor. You want to get the right colors on your monitor correctly. To do that, you really should have a monitor profile. And then finally, every printer has a certain kind of ink, certain uh, kind of heat settings. There are also kinds of medias. There's banner media, paper, glossy vinyl, matte vinyl, uh, clear medias. There's all kinds of medias out there that we print to. Each one of those requires a specific profile. So to really get the full extent of use of profiles in Flexi, to get the best color output, you're gonna need to find an input profile and select that correctly, get a good monitor profile, and then select the right output profile. So let's go on into Flexi and show you how to do that. All right, now there's a lot of things uh, that we can teach you on color management you need to come one of the classes that we have on color management and Flexi to really get the full extent of this. But let me show you how the basics are, what the basics are in using color management and Flexi. First of all, I have a bitmap here and I have some vector artwork over the top of it. Uh, there's a button at the very top up here in Flexi which is called Soft Proof. If I click on that, what it does is it shows me a preview of what I can expect when I print this particular image and vector file. Now you can see some of the colors shifted a little bit because that's a preview of what's going to happen on your printer. And to get that accurate, you need to have the right input profile, the right monitor profile, and the right printer profile, just like we explained. Well, where do you set those in Flexi? Go to the Edit menu and choose Color Settings. You're going to find that in many cases, uh, the monitor profile may be set to something other than sRGB. For instance, if it was set to Adobe, which is very, very wrong, watch what would happen to our image. It gets even worse. You got darker colors now. This is the beginning. This is now what it is. Definitely not correct. So Mo Adobe's not a good choice for a monitor profile. We're going to go back to the edit settings here. And again, you can set that to sRGB or you can choose our generic LCD monitor. But an even better choice would be to have a profile made for your specific uh, computer. You can do this by purchasing a uh, profiler for your monitor. They cost about a couple hundred dollars, somewhere in that area. Uh, or you can go online and try to look for one. Again, if you can't find one, use the generic monitor profile. Okay, I'll just use the generic one. We'll click OK and look how much better that looks. See how much brighter that is now? So here's before and here's after. Much closer, much closer. Now, the next step is to define your printer and your output settings. So we have here I'm printing on a, in this case as an example, a MUTO printer on this particular media. Again, you want to pick the right media profile. You'll have a lots of them in Flexi to choose from. Choose the right one or choose one that's very, very close to the media that you're actually going to be printing on. 
Next, we have the input profile. So again, this is the source profile. This is also going to be a preview, give you a preview of what's going to happen when you choose the same profile for your output device. So let's just leave it at that. Let's leave use embedded profile checked and we'll click OK. And there's again a preview. So this is soft proof. This is what the customer wants. And this is what we're gonna be able to give them at this point. So you can see how that can is brightening up there. Now there's a lot of things you can do to change uh, profiles and so forth. But basically once you have that set up, when you go to print this file, you're gonna click on the wide format printer here and it's gonna start up your production manager. In fact, it's gonna start up your rip and print menu in this case. And all you wanna do here is you wanna to go to that third tab and you wanna make sure that the settings are the same as you set back in Flexi. So in other words, you were previewing what you're going to print, so make sure that the same settings are here. Simply pick the correct output profile, and this is exactly the one we used back in Flexi. Check your color settings. We had that input profile set to uh, sRGB. We had the check mark under Use Embedded uh, Profile. Once those are set, basically you have done some color management and you have used profiles in Flexi. In other words, when you send the file, you should expect to get something fairly close to what you're seeing on your monitor. That's why we need to use profiles. That's why profiles are so important. Hope this lesson helps you. Guess what? It's just that easy with Flexi.